this is the standard enthalpy change of hydration now um, if you want to calculate this value again we may not be able to because if you see we, we will be able to measure the initial temperature because we have water over here so we can dip a th thermometer in water but when the product is a solid and we cannot dip something into a solid so we will not be able to use a thermometer to measure the temperature change and therefore we will not be able to calculate the enthalpy change so what we'll have to do is we'll have to take an indirect route to calculate this enthalpy change of hydration so we know that when dissolved in excess water this will give Na2S2O3 liquid and when dissolved in water even this will give the same the same product so both of these both of these uh, will give the same product when dissolved in water when dissolved in water so this is not actually liquid this will be aqueous this will be aqueous okay this will be aqueous so let's say this is delta h1 and this is delta h2 so if you look uh, if you make a triangle now we want to calculate delta h height So let's say this is A, B, C. So we know that B is equal to A plus C. So if you apply, if you apply this triangle to, if you apply this triangle to over here, to the cycle over here, then Um, sorry, not B. We will have to take delta H1. So this is it. Now we have what we have to calculate is delta H not hide. So what we will do is we will make this the subject. So we get delta H1 minus delta H2. So what is delta H1? Delta H1, if you remember the definition of the standard enthalpy change of solution, it is dissolving a compound into water to get an infinitely dilute solution. So you can see that we dissolve the solid, we get a solution of this. So delta H1 is nothing but delta H0 sol of Na2S2O3. And then if you look at this, then it's not delta H2 is nothing but delta H not sol of Na2 S2 O3 dot 5 H2O. So now we know delta H1 and we know delta H2 that this these values will be given to us. So we, we can do delta H1 minus delta H2 and what we will get is the enthalpy change of hydration of 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 any 2 s2 of any 2 s2 o3 right so this is basically all about about the hess law so let's do some question uh, using questions using hess law right so ethanol c2h5oh is a most important industrial chemical and is used as a solvent a fuel and an intermediate in large scale organic synthesis Ethanol is prepared industrially by the reaction of ethene and steam in the presence of a catalyst. Okay, the standard enthalpy change of the reaction can be determined by using the standard enthalpy changes of combustion at 298 Kelvin. Remember, uh, when we when we got the combustion products of both these compounds, both the, they were 2 CO2 plus. 3 H2O. So uh, actually we did not get the, this was not for this reaction, but yeah, the, uh, both ethene and ethanol will combust to give these products and uh, water does not combust, right? Water will not combust. So don't, uh, so we, uh, so at the end of the combustion process, we will be getting two molecules of carbon dioxide and three molecules of water on both sides. So they have given us the enthalpy change of combustion of ethene. They have given us the enthalpy change of combustion of 
uh, of eth ethanol. So this is the enthalpy change of combustion of ethene, minus 1411. This is the enthalpy change of combustion of ethanol, which is minus 1367. 